Well, all right, so I heard the news that Daniel Bryan was cleared to wrestle. And, you know, right when I heard that, the first thought that comes to mind is, well, how is WWE going to fuck this up? Well, it's, uh, it certainly has, in my opinion, fucked it up. Because they don't put Daniel Bryan in a, in a one-on-one match, do they, for his return? No, they put him in a tag team match. Uh, which I think is a very dumb idea. I mean, the, well, why are they doing all these tag matches for WrestleMania? So so we have Ronda Rousey in a tag match. Now we have Daniel Bryan in a tag match. Tag team matches in this company have always been shitty. I can't remember the last time I've seen a quality tag team match because it's the same formula uh, back and forth. And I've just never been a fan of them because, like, you keep have to tagging in and out your, your team members. So, like, it, you can't really get any, any momentum going. You can't get any flow going because you just keep tagging in and out. And that, that's what we've seen in WWE with tag matches. Um, so I'm not, I'm not looking that forward to this. Yeah, I thought they, they could have done better than Dan, Daniel Bryan's return match than this, than, than, than a tag match. I mean, do a one-on-one matches are just so much more prestigious. I mean, if you go back at WrestleMania and look at, like, what are the best matches of all time, you know, Austin Rock, you know, or whatever. They're one-on-one matches. They're not tag team matches. I mean, tag team wrestling is good and all, you know, it's... But it's kind of like the mid-card, you know. It's not like... It's not going to be the main event. You rarely have a tag team match as your main event. I mean, the, the really prestigious matches are one-on-ones. So to put to to do all these like high profile tag team matches, I'm not a big fan of it. I'd, I'd rather see a one on one match. Uh, so I'd rather see Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens or Daniel Bryan versus Sami Zayn or do whatever, you know. But not a tag team. So, um, but besides that, it's cool that Daniel Bryan's going to be back wrestling. He was one of the bright spots in in, in a pile of shit. So that's good to hear. Uh, that that. That he's back, I guess. But 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 again, you always you know the 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 second you get your hopes up with this company, WWE will find a way to bring your hopes right back down to where they were, or even lower than where they were. So don't get too excited, people. He'll probably just turn right into another typical wrestler uh, again. I mean, I guess the good thing is there's a lot of people in this company who. We haven't seen Daniel Bryan wrestle yet, like, you know, AJ Styles, you know, I could go on. Uh, so, I mean, that's good. But, but, but again, you know, I, I probably won't be watching after WrestleMania. Uh, there's a very low chance of me tuning in after WrestleMania. Just to let you guys know that I don't plan on really watching this because I, I, I'm just too busy, you know. It's not like I'm working 16 hours a day or anything like that, but. I just don't feel like dedicating my life. It's really a big dedication to watch this product on a consistent basis. Even just watching one of the brands, even just watching Raw on a consistent basis basis in the Raw pay-per-views is overwhelming to me. It burned me out. So I can't imagine how, how people watch Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and all these all these pay-per-views. It's like a full it's like a full-time job almost tuning into this shit. And then doing YouTube reviews. It, it, it takes up hours upon hours of your life. So no, I'm not going to be watching after WrestleMania probably. Unless I get like some big epiphany from God and he tells me to watch it. Because I don't feel like it. I, I, I've, I've, been, I've been fucked in the ass too many times by this company to dedicate any more time of, of my life. And any more money. You know, every time I, I log into my, my, my bank account i see oh there's wwe again taking ten dollars you know minus ten dollars every month for the wwe network bullshit so no more ten dollars to wwe after after a couple weeks here could spend that ten dollars elsewhere you know maybe get a you know get get, get some uh uh a, a subscription to Pornhub or something i don't fucking know or put it in the stock market. I don't know, but that ten dollars is not going to WWE anymore. They've taken too much of my money. They've taken too much of my time for me to spend any more time or energy watching a show that disrespects its fans and puts a garbage product on the table every week and expects us to tune in and watch it. So there you go, people. I'll tune into WrestleMania probably. See how good it is. Even though it's going to be like a long ass show, it's probably going to take up half my day. I will still tune in so I can review it probably. Again, I'm not committing, but I will probably watch it. Uh, 
I mean, it's WrestleMania. There has to be at least one good thing on the show, right? Right? I hope so. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on that.